Welcome back everyone. Have you ever wanted to make something look like it's made of glass? You know, like take this ordinary apple here and make it look like it's transparent with an apple tree growing on the inside. Let me show you how I did this in Affinity Photo 2. I started with this image I downloaded from pixabay.com. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to follow along. To begin, I want to remove the apple from its background. So, I'll go to my selection brush tool in the left-hand toolbar and I'll paint over the whole thing as best I can. Remember, if you accidentally select areas you don't want, you can hold Option or Alt to paint them away. Okay, this looks like a pretty good selection. But, to make sure I get all the edges, I'll go to Select in the menu and scroll down to Grow Shrink. I'll type in 3 for the pixels and click Apply to expand this out a bit. Alright, that looks great. I'll just click Refine in the top toolbar and then select the output to New Layer with Mask and then click Apply. OK, now I'll turn this new cutout layer off for a bit and I'll turn the background layer back on. I'm going to use the existing background here so I need to remove the apple. I'll try the in-painting brush tool for this, but first, I want to make sure that I have a nice round brush selected from the basics category of the brush panel. Then, I'll select my in-paint brush tool and paint over the whole apple. In hindsight, I guess I could have clicked the right square bracket key a few times to make my brush head bigger here. It would have gone faster. I'll do that now to go over these remnants. I'll try this one more time and it should be good. There, good enough for this demo. Okay, now I'll turn the apple back on and work on making it transparent. This is easy to do. I'll start by going to the Adjustments button at the bottom of the Layers panel and clicking on the HSL Adjustment. Then, I'll lower the saturation all the way down to the left. Then, I'll click-drag the Adjustment layer and drag it onto the Apple Cutout so the adjustment doesn't affect the background. Next, I'll select the Apple layer and then go to the Blend Modes drop-down. I'll choose Screen. This already makes it look pretty good as you can see the background coming through. To enhance the look, I'll do a couple things. First, I'll go back down to the Adjustments button and select Levels. I'll slide the black level to the right a bit and the white levels to the left until the apple is really starting to look a bit more invisible. Again, you need to click-drag the Adjustment layer onto the Apple layer so that it doesn't affect the background. OK. Now I'm going to go to the FX button at the bottom of the Layers panel and select 3D and check the box. I'll raise the slider up a bit until I get some nice highlights and shading around the edges of my clear apple. Then, I'll close that out. Alright, I want to give this a little bit of a bluish tint. So, I'll go to the Adjustment button again and this time, select White Balance. I'll move the adjustment layer onto the apple layer and then I'll slide the top slider most the way to the left. There, that looks pretty good. OK, next I'm going to duplicate the apple layer by selecting it and clicking Command or Control J. That makes the highlights appear a bit too bright, so I'll go to the Opacity slider at the top of the Layers panel and reduce the opacity on each of the layers to about 65% or so. Alright, now I thought it would be cool to put an apple tree inside my clear apple. So, I generated an apple tree with a transparent background on picklumen.com. I'll leave a link for you in the description. Anyway, to bring out my tree, I'll use the Place tool in the left toolbar or go to File and then Place in the menu to select my image. Then, I'll use my cursor to drag it onto my canvas and size it using the corner nodes. OK, so now I'll click drag on the tree layer and move it between the two apple layers. Then, I'll select my paintbrush tool from the left-hand toolbar, 
I'll change my brush color to gray and then select a nice round light brush from the basics category in the brush panel. Oops, let's select the top layers mask first and then start painting. Remember, black will remove all the pixels from a masked layer. White will paint them back on and gray is sort of in between so it will just remove some of the highlights from the front apple layer. All right, I think that looks really good. Last thing here, I'll select my tree layer and then just drag the corner nodes to make it a bit bigger. And so yeah, there you go. One tree in a glass apple. All right, that's about it for today. If you learned something and want to see more of this kind of content, please click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're feeling generous, this channel runs on caffeine. There's a link to buy me a cup of coffee in the descriptions. Not necessary, but certainly appreciated. Have a great day, everyone.